Hey everyone, Cambo from oldjaguar.com here. It's Christmas 2021 and here is my Christmas present. On the bench, what have I got? I've got some ZF 6HP26 transmission control modules and an updated flashing tool to read and write them here on the bench but also in the car through the OBD port. So what do we got? Well, PCM flash. PCM flash is the, the gold flashing tool from Russia, from Oleg. And we've got some new capabilities here for the ZF transmissions in JLR vehicles and also pretty much all of the, the ZF transmission, 6HP26, 28, 8HP and so on. So here on the bench, um, we're just connected to the socket using our custom uh, interface cable. These cables here, which I've made up, so here's one for a 6HP28 and this one for an 8HP. This one, the 6HP26, uh, that's for connecting on the bench, but as I said, we can do it through the OBD port as well. There are a few extra things that we can do on the bench. So. Um, let's have a look here at the different modules. So JLR gearboxes, 6HP26. Oh, right. So first of all, I got to mention something. These two here on the bench, they are from Ford Falcons. The, the hardware came out of Ford Falcons. And here on the floor is another mechatronic came out of a Ranger of a Sport. Now, in the meantime, I've cloned this one out of the Range Rover into this unit that was originally from a Ford. So the content of the TCM was copied over, and then while it was still here on the bench, uh, I could load the latest software, the, the, the factory software, to the latest version, and clear the adaptations as well with it here on the bench. So now we can just put this back together, put it in the box, fill it with fluid and go. There's nothing else that needs to be done. So we've cloned one TCM into the other. So just imagine right now we're connected via OBD, like we're plugged into the car. It's on the bench, but we're doing this as OBD version. So this is the OBD protocol. We can go to identification and it takes uh, some seconds, maybe five, 10 seconds um to interrogate the tcm and then we will get all of the information out that is relevant so any moment now boom there it is so this tcm and we can see software versions that's the uh, strategy and the calibration file the serial number uh, part number, hardware number, CVN, and also the adaptations here. So these are all on zero now because we already cleared the adaptations. That's with this uh, reset KAM. You see up the top here, KAM, keep alive memory. At the moment, we can only do that with the JLR TCMs. Hopefully soon we might be able to do it with the Fords too. But uh, yeah, this is for all intents and purposes a Land Rover TCM, but the hardware was originally out of the Falcon. And that's the, the OBD mode, but you can also do it on the bench. So if you've got a, a gearbox lying around, you don't know what car it came out of, you can just plug into it and read it, and then you know what it is. You can also judge the condition of it by looking at the adaptation values. So this is pretty helpful. And what we can do is we can read the files out in OBD, uh, modify them, do the tune, and then load it straight back in through OBD. And we can also load the, the stock files too. So this is a big improvement for flashing the, the, the tunes to these TCMs. Now for bench mode, this gives us further capabilities and here we're using a Bosch protocol. So this Bosch TCU bootloader 
Uh, it's in four stages, the flash memory, the microprocessor, external memory, and the EEPROM. So we read all of those four out in one step, and then we have a full backup of that TCM. And that can be loaded into other hardware to make a clone. So that's pretty straightforward. With the 6HP26, it has to be done this way as we've got to connect one additional wire to the position sensor. Um, that's why this TCM has been separated from the valve body. But with the 6HP28, this can be done just plugging straight into the socket. So you wouldn't even need to remove the mechatronic from the car. Just plug into the socket and away you go. So that's the, uh, the bench mode there. And this is uh, a real breakthrough for us. We can also modify the, the raw data here too. But uh, for, for tuning, we're only really playing with the, the calibration file anyway. So that's done by OBD now. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll just show you here with this Ford TCM. Um, I'll just take that wire out. So with the Falcon TCM at the moment, uh, we can identify it using um, the JLR protocol and we can read and write the full content using the, the bench protocol. So let's go back here. Um, what's this one? It's that one. Identification. And again, it takes a moment to, uh, to interrogate the TCM. So this is now OBD mode, let's say. I'm not connected to the GPT at all. This could be a box just sitting in a wrecking yard. We can plug in and see what's in there. And any moment. Boom. Yep, there it is. So using the JLR protocol, there's a, a couple of errors here, but we can see the calibration files. So 5R29, uh, that's from a Falcon. And this uh, 5R29AG, that's like the base model six-cylinder Falcon. So at the moment, we can identify and we can clone the Ford ones. Um, hopefully, by January, we might be able to do a bit more with the Falcon ones. But with the, the, the JLR units, we can now do everything. Everything. This is just amazing. Massive breakthrough for us. So we're really happy, really excited. Big thank you to Oleg for, for doing this. And Nick from our side, Nikolai. He's done some amazing work in the background. We've now got an amazing tool. So this is just the beginning. There's more to come and we're really looking forward to it. All right, cheers.